If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AO. EAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be ranking the best free 92s to take from the Harvest promo release, too. This part two release was insane. The heroes were insane. The free players are like the worst free player is arguably the best of any most feared free player that we got, right? My worst, as you can see on the screen, is Cameron Jordan, and this is a very good card. That just goes to show you how good the free players are. I'm ranking them all from worst to best, and again, even the worst one I still think has a place on a lot of teams, even if it's defensive tackle or if it's a secondary guy, like in terms of a second left end, second defensive tackle. Either way, it's fine. Before we get into the video, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, like the video, comment down below, sub to the channel, and of course, you guys want to check out Underdog. I have a special code and promo Keyword, right? Poodle down below for you guys. For you, you can get up to a free 100 bucks when signing up, which means you can pretty much go ahead and enter some lineups for free on someone else's money, not your own, and potentially win more money with that and cash that out. So, enough of that. Let's start getting to the ranking video. So, we have Cameron Jordan left and 92 overall. He's the worst one now. Again, worst one. He gets 80 speed, 80 excel, which is good. 88 strength, which is good. And remember, mind you, 92 overalls aren't going to make it onto a meta team. So, for the most part, 80 speed, 80 excel is really good for the teams he's will fall on. 92 play rec, elite. 92 block shed, elite. 93 power move, elite. 92 finesse move is decent, but 82 finesse move, sorry. But he does get a top tier power rush, top tier run stuff, top tier tackling with good speed and good excel. This card's really, really good, and this is the worst one. The only reason he's not higher is because he is only an 80 speed, and of course, it's Cameron Jordan, and of course, people have faster ends at this point in the game. But again, the people who are getting him, this is going to be a really, really good card. I really like this card personally, but he's going to be the worst one. Debo Samuel, there's only one reason he's a bit higher, and I will get into that, is because his behind-the-card stats are absolutely insane, and if you guys want, Debo Samuel is going to have a top-tier card at some point this year where he's going to be one of the best receivers in Mutt. Remember, right now, what do we focus on? We focus on speed and route running. There's going to come a point around like January, February, where everyone has speed and route running, so we stop looking at speed and route running. We start looking at behind-the-card stats. Most cards aren't going to have that. Debo Samuel already has that, so if you get Debo Samuel now and you power him up and just have him there... When he gets his next card, you're going to be ready to go to power him up even more. That's the only reason Debo is slightly higher. Because Debo has 92 speed, 93 jumping, 90 catching, 88 catching traffic, 90 spec, 89 short, 86 medium, 83 deep. At this current time of uh, period in time, he'll have an 83 speed powered up, 90 short. Good catching. Not going to be a great card at this moment. But he does have like close, like he'll have like 90 stiff arm. He has high truck. He has crazy juke, crazy change of direction. Like he's like Tyreek Hill with power behind the card. But here's the thing. His next card. Let's say he gets like a team of the year, potentially, right? He is having a really good season. His team of the year, or he gets some kind of playoff card, or, or literally anything that's a high card. He's going to have a top tier speed and route running with power back slash elusive back behind the card stats. And that's going to be the difference maker. Like last, you remember when Hulu got that golden ticket? People were just cared about the fact that he's a behind the card stat beast, right? And that's what's going to matter stiffy, truck, change of direction, agility, and stuff that you really just don't look at right away with the card until they have max speed and everything else but coming up next we have elijah vera tucker guys i'm a big big per i'm, a, I'm big on taking a free offensive lineman for offensive lineman is a position where people just typically hate paying for and this is a very good one like sometimes the free ones are kind of trashy like just like mid high 80s and you're like eh, well it's free right this one's actually an elite threshold lineman for free 92 strength 91 awareness 91 pass block 90 pass block power 90 pass block finesse off the rip elite pass protector at guard Always useful, great strength, great awareness, agile archetype. Then, run block 91, powered up, run block uh, power 90, run block finesse 94, powered up. An elite, even better run blocker. He's an elite run blocker, an elite pass blocker, great strength, elite awareness, and he can get powered up and everything, of course, and he's free. Not a bad option at all. I think he's actually one of the top options. The only reason he's not higher is because usually I put my alignment near the top, but there's actually some really good cards, so I had to put him a little bit lower. Justin Simmons. Guys, you just can't go wrong with a free above 90 zone safety, right? He'll get 93 speed powered up with 92 zone. If you don't use for him, he's going to be an elite zone guy, and that's for free, right? Now, not to mention, his 81 hit power and 83 man coverage is the reason he's lower. I mean, if guys, if he had a 90 hit power or 90 man, he'd probably be the top option on this list. But he's a bit slower, a little bit lower in the hit power, a little bit lower in the man. But it's not easy for a budgety team to get a super fast safety with above 90 zone at this point in the game that's so well-rounded like he is, right? He can borderline play man. He can borderline hit pretty hard. 
he, he's gonna be able to hit he's just not gonna be able to really destroy people and force fumbles on like the Bo Jackson Marshawn Lynch type guys right he's not gonna be able to do it on them but he can lay the boom he's not gonna get completely just pummeled like an Earl Thomas safety car when they give him like his 70 to 60 hit power and then he just gets destroyed right or like the hide and the poison they give him like those bad hit power cards they haven't done that this year but when they get those guys that's when you have a problem but he's gonna be super fast he's pretty tall as well with good zone good play record pursuit gonna be great as a non-user gonna be gonna be a good card mark andrews mark andrews is a really good tight end now yes i wish some things were slightly higher on here that could have made this card super elite but let's start with the basics powered up 90 speed at tight end checks the box gonna be a meta s tight end for a lot of people who get like he's gonna be in the top two tight ends right 79 strength pretty good 91 catching check powered up 90 catch traffic check powered up 91 spec catch check he's an elite catcher with elite speed Short running will be a 90, powered up, check. Medium route running will be an 89, but with the right strategy card, he could potentially get medium route running to two. So that would be a 90 medium route running, check. He can be an elite route runner, elite catcher, elite speed, and his run blocking is an 88, which is just, guys, I don't think you understand. Mark Andrews is getting some love at that run block because usually your tight end that can run block has really bad speed. You gotta like get Gronk and you put them as your second tight end that you just sub in for run plays. Mark Andrews is an elite run blocker in Mutt for some reason. I don't think in, in regular rosters he's an elite run blocker, but here he is. He's gonna be a vertical threat tight end that could spread the field, run routes. He's super fast. He can stretch the field a little bit too. And he can run block, guys. This is an elite tight end. He really is. He's gotta be up to the top. Only reason he's not is because we have Denzel Ward who actually did get an increase in overall. Now, Denzel Ward, guys, right? This was a stat yesterday. They gave him a plus one to speed. They actually updated his speed, which makes him even better. 93 speed, 94 excel on a free car. That's absurd. But usually, right, what comes next? Bad coverage. He has 91 agility, 92 jumping, 87 player, 92 man, 90 zone, 90 press. All threshold cornerback with man, zone, and press. And he gets 94 speed, 95 excel powered up. And he's a decent height. I think he's at least six feet tall. He's anywhere between 5'11 and 6'1. I forget. But guys, he gets he's an elite zone, elite man, elite press guy. Denzel Ward always plays really good. He's super agile, super fast, super quick, makes plays, and he's free. Like, like I said, any other, like if this was most feared, Cameron Jordan may have been a one or two card, a top one or two card. If this was most feared, Debo Samuel would have been like the three or four. Vera Tucker may have been my overall number one guy. Justin Simmons would have been top three. But we have guys like this at the top of the list. And look, they give him a plus one to speed and excel. I think that's the only thing they touched though, right? Nothing else changed. Yeah, so just speed and excel one up one, which is just crazy. They didn't have to touch it really. I was okay, like... It's a 92 overall, right? Like, does Denzel Ward deserve a 94, 95 speed? Yes. Powered up, yes. But he's not 95 over. If he was a master, yes. He's a 92 free card. They typically water down free cards. I I, I knew what it was. A 92 speed with all threshold was maybe more than excited. They even, they bumped him up more. That's a top card. I think in any facet of this game, and he's a depth position. Remember that too, guys, right? Like, Vera Tucker's not really depth, right? Not really depth. Uh, we have Cameron Jordan, who's not really depth. Like, he plays, like, one of two positions. Not really depth he, overall wise. Tight ends, like, okay. But most of these cards are depth, right? Like, that's, that's what I'm trying to make a point. Like, they're all depth, but cornerbacks are the deepest. Like, wide receivers and corners are the ones you can have three to four or five guys playing that position and fit the overall well. Denzel Ward's that guy. I think if you get one free player, Denzel Ward's your guy for sure. Hands down. Don't even debate it. I think you have to take him unless you have some, like, crazy corners, which he is a crazy corner. So, I think you take him. Guys, that's about it for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that sub button. Turn the notification bell. If you guys want to check out Underdog, the link and code will be down below in the description. Make sure to check it out, guys. Super easy opportunity to get some free money there and go ahead and use it. And, you know, test your luck out there. But, yeah, thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.